Left 4 Dead 2 is a video game that, well, it needs no introduction. This game, it came out in 2009. Look how many people are still playing it. Come on, if you feel like wasting hours of your life slaying the undead hordes, what, are you gonna play Back for Blood or that one other World War Z video game? Of course not. You're gonna play Left 4 Dead 2. It's just that simple. All right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> siren in. Would be a shame if someone were to throw that. You killed an old person, how do you feel? <laughs> oh god, yes, no, no. Out of all of the thousand millions of zombie games you can find on Steam, Left 4 Dead 2, it may just be the best of the best. Or is it? Is Left 4 Dead 2 really as good as all of us make it out to be? Or are all of us suffering from rose-tinted glasses syndrome? Are we all playing Left 4 Dead 2 because it's good? Or are we just playing it because there isn't really anything else like it? Well, then how about you lock that safe room door, pull out a baseball bat and test some this friendly fire, subscribe to the big YouTube channel, leave a like on this video and follow me on Twitter, and brace yourself. Is Left 4 Dead 2 still awesome? 14 years later. This is Left 4 Dead 2, a certified zombie video game of all time. Looks like there's been a change of plans. And since I just said the word zombie, I'm pretty sure you, person who decided to watch this video, I'm pretty sure an idea of what Left 4 Dead 2 is all about has just popped into your brain. You click play on the video game and fight back against the undead horde. There you go. Zombie game. Look, there are zombies in the main menu. It's pretty simple. Though I I don't want you to get the wrong idea here, yeah? Sure, there are zombies in Left 4 Dead 2, but this game isn't an endless Call of Duty zombies wave-based type of game where you, I don't know, run around for hours and hours slogging three stag steps, so confusing not even a Harvard professor astrophysics could work out. No, in Left 4 Dead 2, you and your friends, or if, if you don't have any friends, your AI robotic partners, who, by the way, aren't useless and will actually hard carry you, you spawn in a safe room and it's up to you to get to the next safe room and eventually you escape the level on a helicopter or, or in a car it changes in every single campaign you play do you want to cosplay as a landlord and evict all of the disgusting freeloaders from that one hotel you own you can play the first campaign dead center did you ever have dreams of going on a ferris wheel or a, a, a merry-go-round when you were younger but then when you got to the carnival you couldn't actually go on these rides because there was a 25.2 billion mile long line filled with stupid children well now now you can live out your childhood dreams and play carnival. Oh, and a piece of advice here, person watching this video. If you think you're going to be able to go in all guns blazing and take on the entire undead horde by yourself, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's it's not going to work out well for you. Help me! I'm down! Come on, Help Illis, me. Illis, Illis. Help me! I got a wolf. Help me! Help me! You may have the unfortunate experience of running into one of Left 4 Dead 2's special infected. Good Lira Gaming. <laughs> Average vape user, the Kool Aid Man, and Gollum from Lord of the Rings, your weird grandfather, and lastly, but most terrifyingly, Death Incarnate. Oh no, why did you, no, why did you shoot the, why? Did you shoot the, why? Dude, back on track though, remember how a few seconds ago I was talking about different locations and all of that type of stuff? All of the different campaigns in Left 4 Dead 2, they all look so different and unique from each other. And I, I absolutely love this. All of these different things, the unique environments, the fact that when you load into a level, you get to see a really cool movie poster. They all help create a really cool story-driven atmosphere that I haven't really felt in any other game like this. As you play through these campaigns, you feel like you're playing through a story or, or a movie. Each safe room you eventually get to after dispensing 2.2 tons of pure freedom on the living dead, it feels like the end of one chapter and the beginning of another one. These safe rooms, they all look different from each other and subtly tell a story of their own. They build on the lore of the movie you're playing in. Gamers for Croydon. <laughs>
Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm a gamer. <laughs> the further you go in Left 4 Dead 2's campaigns, the more you feel like you're slowly but surely progressing towards the end of this movie you've decided to play. But as we all know, a movie is nothing without its soundtrack. A soundtrack can make or break a movie. I mean, come on, man. Uh, imagine Interstellar without its soundtrack. That's just, I mean, uh, uh, God, no, no, disgusting. Does Left 4 Dead 2's music deliver then? Yeah. The music in this game goes hard. Words cannot describe the fear that comes over me when I hear this noise. Oh, uh. oh, 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 oh. But now I think it's time to finally address the elephant in the room. If you've been paying attention to the amazing riveting gameplay I've been showing in the background of this video, I'm pretty sure you're wondering, why why the bloody hell are there a bunch of Roblox people running around? You see this? This is where Left 4 Dead 2 really shines. It's the reason why this game is still so damn awesome 14 years later. Sure, you can just keep on playing this game vanilla for hours and, and hours and, 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 and hours, but why would you do that when you can do this? Oh, it's Pika. It's Pika. <laughs> when it comes to any video game I've ever played in the history of my 21 years of being on this earth yeah there is a lot of uh, there's lots of uh, but pound for pound left 4 dead 2 has some of the most available mods for any video game i've ever seen more than skyrim more, more than fallout this game is unreal the only other game that really beats left 4 dead 2 when it comes to mods is gary's mod another valve game you can essentially change anything you want to do you want to turn francis into one of the God Emperor of Mankind's chosen soldiers? You can! Do you want to do a ritual and morph a tank into the original Sigma male? You can! Do you want to hear a funny Baha Vine boom sound effect every single time you open a door? You can! If you think of something, literally anything, I'm pretty sure there's already a Left 4 Dead 2 mod of this. It's hilarious! And I just, I just absolutely love it. One of my favorite things to do with my friends is that every couple of months we play Left 4 Dead 2. But before we delve into hardcore combat against the undead, we spend hours and hours just going through mods and installing new stuff. We all want to make our game look as shit posty as possible. And it always does. Like muscle man. <laughs> the mods you can install in Left 4 Dead 2, they're one of the main reasons why this game is still thriving as a video game 14 years later. Firstly, all of this stuff is really bloody funny and it can turn your game into absolute chaos. <laughs> Oh no! Who oh, should have <laughs> But secondly, and more interestingly, all of these mods, they let Left 4 Dead 2 become infinitely replayable. It's the reason why me and my friends keep on coming back to this game. If we get bored with, uh, I, 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 I don't know, slaughtering Roblox characters, we can always change them into Fall Guys characters. If we get bored with something in our game, we can just change it with a few mouse clicks. All of this, it allows Left 4 Dead 2 players to come completely switch up their game and mold it into something new that they'd never played before. And uh, hey, maybe you feel like turning on some of your old mods while keeping on some of your new ones. The choice is yours really, I mean, whatever you want to do, you can do. This game isn't going to stop you. There isn't some arbitrary, you can't do that, there's a mod limit type of thing. Other than a few issues surrounding conflicting mod files, you can do pretty much whatever you want. However, in the apocalyptic world of Left 4 Dead 2, sure, you can tweak anything to your heart's content. There is one thing that stays the same throughout, one constant that you can't change, that thing being the director. Plain and simple, the director is a system found in Left 4 Dead 2 that modifies the game based on how you and your friends are doing and playing in your current session. If you and your friends are some ultra instinct four man zombie obliteration Armageddon squad, the director will modify the game by making it harder. The director, it may increase the number of tanks in your match or the frequency of witches. On the other hand, though, if you and your friends are struggling to do the most basic of things... Gentlemen, can I jump from you? Yeah, but you're gonna break your shit. Ah! The director may notice your stupidity and take pity on you by making the game easier in some way. Maybe it'll decrease the number of zombies around you. I don't know. The director works in mysterious ways. What I do know for certain, though, is that the director, it's one of the most ingenious systems I've ever seen in a video game. It ensures that players will have a really fun, yet really 
fair time. You'll never get absolutely washed, but then again, you'll never feel overpowered. The director will change the way your game plays every single time you play Left 4 Dead 2. No two games of Left 4 Dead 2 will ever be the same. And yeah, I, I, I think this is really cool. What was also really cool to see, or should I say here in this scenario, was the point of view of one of my friends. This is my friend Dale. And Dale, he's committed a crime against himself, humanity, and God. <laughs> he's never played Left 4 Dead 2 before. Though, this all changed the other night. Me and my friends, we bullied him into playing Left 4 Dead 2 with us. So, instead of me sitting here and waffling on and summarizing what Dale had to say, why don't we hear from the man himself? Here's what my friend Dale thinks of Left 4 Dead 2 as a brand new player. What do you think? of Left 4 Dead 2, Dale, since you've never played it before and this is your first time playing it. It's the first time I have seen something you played, but it's a, bl <laughs> it's a lot different when you play, now that I'm actually thinking about it. I had to tell someone what I, like, in a game, any game, if you just say to someone, oh yeah, I was just, you know, murdering masses of Roblox <laughs> characters <laughs> while Rafiki dives at my friend's face, the pink guy comes out the corner and takes me out, and my other friend is taken out by a Kuma that's screaming with my kid now, hot spice logo. No one would believe me, that's how I'm going back. <laughs> there is one thing that I really don't understand about Left 4 Dead 2, though. How in the name of all that's holy, how has no other game come close to matching this game? And I'm not even really talking about peak Left 4 Dead 2. No, I'm talking about like no other game has even come close to like lower Left 4 Dead 2. This game, it came out in 2009 and it's still hands down the definitive zombie shooting game. Look at something like uh, Back 4 Blood. When this game was being hyped up, people were saying it was going to be the next Left 4 Dead 2 and the spiritual successor to that game. Everybody was going to move on from Left 4 Dead 2 and play Back 4 Blood instead. But then uh, Back 4 Blood 2 came out and uh, yeah, have a look on the screen. That's pretty much all you really need to know. This game, Back 4 Blood, it's been abandoned by its developers and nobody really plays or cares about it anymore. This game, a game that was meant to dethrone Left 4 Dead 2, it doesn't oh, yeah. even come close to Left 4 Dead 2. Now I've never played Back 4 Blood before. I know it is on Game Pass and I do want to make a video on it, so stay tuned for that. But what do you think, person watching this video? Why do you think uh, that Left 4 Dead 2, this this game came out in 2009. Why is it still the most popular zombie shooting game? And why is it that no other game has come close to matching it? Be sure to let me know in the comments. I, I genuinely have no idea why. What I do know for certain though is that all of these years later, 14 years later, Left 4 Dead 2 is still an awesome, amazing game. From insane levels of environmental storytelling and atmosphere to pretty much infinite replay value, Left 4 Dead 2, it's a goated game. And with that, I'm gonna go and play some Left 4 Dead 2. Thanks for watching, go watch all my other stuff, and I'll see you soon. Number 15. Subscribe to The Beak. If you don't, you will suffer a severe case of cringe. And you are taking part in bozo behavior. Thanks for watching.